Hello and welcome back. In the previous videos, we saw some of the basic functionalities of Eagle. And in this video and in the subsequent videos, we will be creating the project which you can see on your screen. This is a A-stable vibrator. A-stable vibrator is where the output will not be stable. It will go to 1, 0, 1, 0. It will continuously fluctuate between 1 and 0 and that gives us a blinking LED. There will be one difference with respect to this circuit. We'll add one more component instead of 9 volt. We'll create our own supply as well. So let's go ahead and start implementing it. Let me take this to another window so I can see it. Okay. Here. So what all do I need? I need three resistors R1, R2 and R3. I need a triple five timer, I need a capacitor, I need an LED and I need the power supply. So I'll start with adding the resistors. I go to add, I go to RCL and uh, let's say this is the value I want. This is the size of the resistor is fine for me. So I take this and drop it three times because I need three resistors. Escape, I go back to the screen and I will add a capacitor. I will add okay. I don't want to okay this is fine I will add this capacitor I also need a triple five pin so I will go I will search for triple five you can use wildcards while searching for components I will give a star I will give triple five and a star again so it says that something followed by triple five followed by something else search for all such components you see here it has found so many other components but we don't need this what we need is this one triple five timer we have other options also we have other options yeah this is the same thing so this was one library i added from spark fun we can use any triple five. We'll use this and I drop it here. Now, if you see, we have sorry, we have all the components that we need. Now we'll start adding, uh, connecting these components with each other. Oh, sorry, we need one LED as well. Okay, in this uh, LED library, we see LED here, and I want a five mm LED, so I select this. And I drop it here and I can cancel this now this is the circuit that we have so we see we have R1 is 470k let's go ahead and R1 is 470k R2 is 1k we'll give them values R1 is 470k R2 is 1k and how much is R3? R3 is 1K as well. R3 is 1K. Now you see, R1 is connected to number 6. We'll move it. R1 is connected to pin number 6. Now, to connect two pins, we select the net two. We select it. We click on one pin. And we can take it around and place it where we want. We take it to pin number 6 of the IC and we place it here. So these two are connected. Now if I move the component as well, these two stay connected. Now pin number 2 is connected to pin number 6. So I'll select the net tool again. I'll take pin number 2 and I connect it to pin number 6. So you see here, if I zoom in, you have this small circle or this is called a node or a junction which signifies that this are connected at this point so for example i take pin number seven and connect it here we don't get the junction here it means this this line this particular line and this line they are not connected with each other but we don't need that line so we'll just delete it we delete this there is a capacitor connected between pin number 2 and crumb. So we'll take our capacitor, move it there between pin number 2 and crumb. We'll first connect the capacitor to pin number 2. 
then we have the capacitor connected. The other end of R1, R1 is connected to one end of R2. So we take R2 and we'll rotate it. We'll connect these two pins together. Select and we connect them. Pin number 7 is also connected to this point that is the node between R1 and R2. So pin number 7 goes here and gets connected at this point. You see here again we have the junction but here we do not have the junction. Now pin number 4 and pin number 8 are connected. We connect pin number 4 and pin number 8. One thing uh, you might have not noticed. So we select it and it keeps going on wherever we go, wherever we take our cursor. If we want to turn at this point, let's say I want to take a turn at this point, I'll click here and then start turning again. And I click here, I'll start turning again. That is how I make lines take turns. Now I'll just delete them. This circuit, LED is connected to R3. This R3 is connected to pin number 3. We take R3 to pin number 3. We take LED here. And we connect them. Pin number 3 is connected to R3, R3 is connected to the LED. And they are all connected to ground, these are connected to ECC. Okay. Now we will add our supply to this circuit. The way we add our supply is we go to add, we will go to supply. We have the supply library SU. So these are some standard supply symbols that we have or we can just have V plus or VCC. I want 5 volts so I will select 5 volts and I will place it here. So now what this means is this is just a symbol, this is not the actual supply. I will connect these two pins together. Now it means there is some line. Okay, so this line that we have, this is now connected to 5 volts. I can again make a copy of 5 volts and place it here. Because you see, we have pin number 4 and pin number 8. They are connected to supply, which is this. So, we make a copy and we connect, place it here and we connect them together. Now, it gives me a warning that this particular net, this net that we have here, I am going to connect it to the 5 volt supply net. Is it what we want? Yes. We select yes. So now this are connected together. Here at this point we can make use of the I tool which is this. It's nothing but show. If I click on show and I click on 5 volts. You see it shows me all the lines which are connected together. It shows this is 5 volts, this is 5 volts, this entire thing is 5 volts. This is what I wanted. Fine. Now, I will go ahead and add the ground. I will take a ground symbol with the different ground symbols. These different ground symbols will stay separated from each other. So, if I take this ground and this ground, they are two different in the circuit. They won't be connected together. I take this ground, okay, and I place it here. Because in our circuit, we have this connected to ground. We have pin number 1 connected to ground, we have the LED connected to ground. So, I place it 3 times. One for the capacitor, one for pin number 1 and one for the LED. And I will connect them all together now. Now again if I use show, I click on this, you see all of these are highlighted. It means they are all connected together. Now I'll go ahead and add the supply. Right now it is only 5 volts supply that is just a name, kind of a name that we have given it. It's not the actual supply. We need to take the supply from somewhere. And in this case we are not, uh, we'll create a 5 volt supply out of a higher supply say 12 volts or 9 volts. For that we'll use a voltage regulator. We'll search for uh, VREG, we have VREG here and we take 7 8 L okay not this ah. 
seven eight this. We'll take this component. This is a voltage regulator, which takes in a higher voltage and gives out a constant five volt supply. Again, the ground has to be common, so we make a copy of ground and we place it here, and we connect them together. Sorry, we connect them together. The output is going to be five volts. So what we want is we want this the output of this pin to be connected to this five volts so that we have the supply in this pins. One way is I can take this line and connect them in this way. This is connected. I can use the show tool and you see all the five volts are connected. Or I can make a copy of this five volt symbol and I connect them to this. Now we see again the five volts are connected together. There is one more requirement with voltage regulators that is, sorry, the requirement is adding capacitors. So we add two small capacitors as well. Sorry, we have to go to RCL. To RCL, we take. Let's say we take this and we add to both here and here and now we need to give them ground as well so we copy we give them ground value and we connect them together now we also need to give a input to this let's say 9 volts or 12 volts and in this case i am going to use a dc adapter So we select con jack and we select this component dc j0202 this is our dc jack that we have oops okay and we drop it here so this is the dc jack that will be uh, we have our dc adapter and connect it here and through this we'll take supply to our 7805 now we go ahead and connect this in a dc jack how it is connected is pin number one will give you the voltage there is the voltage input pin number two and three are supposed to be shorted together that is ground and we connect it to ground so we won't see how this works uh, we'll just make the circuit and uh, configure the board out of it so now we have the dc jack that is giving in let's say 12 volts it goes to 7805 let's give it the name it's ic2 right now we'll give it 7805 and we'll give some values to this we'll give 0.1 microfarad we'll give this as well 0.1 microfarad we have all the circuits that we want all the sorry all the components that we want 